there's a really weird guy. I'm kind of freaked out because I'm by myself. Yo. So my little palettes didn't expand all the way, so I just took them and kind of like fluffed them up like this and then opened the top and I'm just hoping that this works. I've already started, um, I've planted the zucchini, cucumber, and lettuce blend. So for instance, I labeled all these myself just as a label maker and then I'm also making some for my sister and my mom, so I took extra of these that I have lying around. I just turned around and on these Seeds of Change packets, it tells you how deep to put it and also tells you everything you need to know, like, like where you live, you can just look at this little map if you're in the US and it tells you what month to grow it in. And then, you know, everything that you would need to know is like all here. So this tells me I need to grow these seeds a half inch deep. So I'll just open them up, I'll show you what they look like, and I'll show you how I stick them in. And I'm kind of doing that with all of the seeds. Whoa, these ones are really crazy looking. I didn't know the seeds looked like that. That's really interesting. Just put a little seed in there, pack it down so that there's no like air pockets in the dirt, and then just lightly pack it down. One eternity later. Okay, so here. Here is what they all look like when they're done. I am a little concerned that these pellets didn't open up the way they were supposed to. And so I'm a little worried that they might not germinate properly. I'm hoping that they do, but just in case I might get some different ones or also some seed starter soil and maybe just do a few more just in case. So yeah, but anyway, these are all the things that I'm growing. I would have done more, like there's only one beefsteak tomato because I ran out of pellets. So I need to get some more anyway. So that's probably what I'm gonna do and then when I do get more, I will show you what it all looks like when it's all done. But this is gonna be my little area to grow because I really don't have anywhere else in my house to do this. And this is where I get light. So that's where it will stay for now. Wish me luck, I'm gonna need it. you guys so now that I have all of these kind of like growing and ready to go I've kind of learned from my mistakes of like what to do and what not to do and I've done a ton of research online so I am going to do this again I have these little peat pellets and I'm going to pour some water over them and I'm going to plant some more seeds I have learned that I do not have a south facing window and I live somewhere where I just have a patio I don't really have like a backyard and it doesn't have full Sun it only gets like me Maybe an hour or two of Sun which like is horrible for gardening so I had to buy grow lights which are these things right here I just got them from Amazon and they have actually done wonders like these plants wouldn't have grown if it weren't for these grow lights so definitely need those these are definitely like ready to be transplanted and I've been hardening them off outside uh, I need some more water for these but these peat pellets took a really long time to kind of expand last time I think they might just be kind of old but they still work so yeah, I'm basically going to do this and then I'm going to put them at my mom or my sister's house Most likely my sister's house because she gets full sun over there and they live pretty close So I'll just have to go over there to do my garden, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is So making the best of what we have I'm gonna let these expand and we will come back and plant some seeds eventually Okay, so I mixed up my soil. I have a worm casting, fertilizer, some good potting soil. As you can see, these plants down here died. <laughs> The person that moved them accidentally killed them. Very sad, that's okay because in here we have these thriving plants and we're going to transplant them and I hope that they don't die and I'm gonna put them in here, these pots. So I just planted these snow peas. There's the little capsules they were in. I'm getting ready to plant the cilantro in here. I don't have anybody to help me film this so it's kind of hard to show you but basically what I'm doing is I'm just gently loosening up the soil and then I'm ripping apart this very gently so I don't disturb too much of the root growth. Although on these there's not very much and then I'm gonna plant them inside. I'm gonna show you here so you guys can see. Just tear that apart like that. This one's not opening up as much. Whoa, this one's kind of harder to get open. Literally falling apart. There's not very
very much root growth on this, so I'm just gonna have to take what I can. So that's what that looks like. Now I'm gonna do the other one. I don't have a hose, so we're making do with what we have. Okay, so they are all planted. I just watered them and I'm just crossing my fingers. These don't look like they're doing very well, but just crossing my fingers and hoping that they do well and I will come over every day to check on them. Later. Just cut them right at the bottom. Don't cut these ones because they're too short, but the long ones. Where do you cut them? Just cut right here. I'll hold that for you if you want. Hold on, here. Oh, no, all of them. You gotta do all of them. Though They grow back so fast here. Watch here, hold the camera and I'll do it. I'm gonna be a real gardener and harvest these things. I wouldn't cut all, I don't need all of them, sissy. That's plenty, I'm not gonna use any more. Okay, that's fine, then I'll use some. Yeah. But you have to cut it so that it regrows. If not, it's gonna go back. Like, all these are way too long. Oh, really? They're gonna grow back so quick, so they quick. Are? Literally in a week, they'll be back. Really? Yeah, look at that, harvest. Awesome. We're farmers now. Regardless of cash, regardless of wealth, I never got handouts, I did this myself. Prove I got something to show. Nobody got nothing on Rose. Nothing on Rose. I got the clout. I gotta follow it. Yeah, you can hate, but you gotta acknowledge it. I got a story. 